Hello, this is Online Repairman with a video showing you how to install a motion detector light switch. This is good for anywhere where the light gets left on, so it saves electricity in that case, or where you could possibly be carrying groceries like the garage or the utility room. It's just a pretty cool thing to have installed. You can pick up the motion detector light switch at any Home Depot or Lowe's or any hardware store for that matter. Um, so it looks similar to what I have here. These motion detector light switches come with three modes. An auto mode, which picks up your motion to turn on the light switch. An always on or an always off. Just make sure when you're picking up the light switch that you also pick up the matching plate. So the light switch footprint is much bigger than the regular light switch footprint. So you just want to make sure you pick up the uh, plate that has the matching configuration. In this case, we have a double light switch, but I'm only replacing one. And as you can see, I'll need the plate that has the uh, one side regular light switch and the other side the big rectangle um, configuration. So in this case, I only had one light switch, so I just picked the plate that had the large rectangle to replace the small rectangle. Once you have the parts you need, uh, it's time to turn off the electricity to the area you'll be working on. I use a voltage detector. You can pick these up at a hardware store. And once you get close to an electrical source, um, it has a sound and it makes a pretty loud noise. Um, so just make sure that uh, you know the exact circuit you're working with. Turn the power off. And then again, with the voltage detector, um, one clue is the lights off. But uh, just make sure that you have no power um, to that room. When you're comfortable you have no power going to that uh, area, just remove the screws going to the wall plate. Then just remove the wall plate to expose the switches. Remove the two screws that are at, um, securing the switch you'd like to replace. Now you should be able to just pull your light switch out from the box, pulling the two wires along with it. You can kind of see all a switch is, a light switch, is just interrupting a circuit. So when you flip a switch, the two wires um, are completing the circuit when the light switch is on. When you turn the light switch off, it interrupts that circuit. So just remove the, unscrew the two screws that are holding the wires in. You may find that your light switch, uh, the wires are not wrapped around the screws. Instead, they're going into these holes. If that's the case, you can remove it by inserting a small flathead screwdriver in that larger hole you see, or you can just trim the wires if you think you're not going to use the light switch again. But in my case, um, after I've loosened the screws, I can just remove the wires now that are wrapped around those screws. Then just using a pair of pliers, straighten out the uh, curved wires that you see here. So this is what the motion detector light switch looks like uninstalled. It has two leads that will attach to the two wires that are going uh, that we disconnected from the other light switch with the two wire nuts that you see there. The motion detector light will have two lead wires and it doesn't matter which way you attach them because it is a switch. Just wrap the one lead wire around your wire and attach it with a wire nut that should be included with the motion detector light switch. Do the same thing with the second lead wrap it around the wire coming from the wall. Try to wrap it as much as possible, make it as secure as possible, then uh, attach the wire nut to the second lead and you're through with the wiring. At this point you should have something like you see here. Try to push the wires back up into the box as much as possible because the new light switch is going to take up a lot more room in the box than the simple light switch did. Next, just attach the motion detector light switch uh, with the same two holes that you removed the simple light switch from. Now you should be able to attach your wall plate that matches the configuration that you uh, have and then reapply the wall plate screws that you took out at the very beginning. After turning back on your power, you should be able to test it. So just walk in the room where you have the light switch installed, the light should come on, and that's it. Like I said earlier, these are pretty handy. I have them installed in the guest bathroom, my 
master bathroom closet, my utility room, and my garage all seem to be handy places to use them. So that concludes this video. Um, I hope it was helpful. For more videos like this, visit my website at www.onlinerepairman.com. Thanks.